Here are some notes on anterograde and retrograde cardioplegia. Cardioplegia is when you deliver a potassium-enriched solution during cardiopulmonary bypass. It creates a motionless surgical field and reduces myocardial metabolic demand. The way it works is by increasing your extracellular potassium, which causes cardiac arrest in diastole, which is suitable for cardiac surgeries. You can also cool the solution to reduce metabolic activity by up to 97%, and this allows for 40 minutes of protected perfusion-free time. Anterograde cardioplegia is the traditional method of delivering cardioplegia. It's administered via a small bore catheter or needle into the aortic root or directly into the coronary arteries. The limitations are that it's less affected with distorted aortic or coronary anatomy, specifically with severe aortic insufficiency, where you'll have backflow into the left ventricle, which can cause myocardial distension and or increased metabolic demand. You also have reduced efficiency with coronary artery disease. If your vessels are too obstructed or too stenotic, you won't be able to get that cardioplegia through in the anterograde fashion. The retrograde fashion is delivered through the coronary sinuses, so through the venous system. This uses a balloon-tipped catheter. Primary indications are the same reasons you would have issues with the anterograde method, so severe aortic insufficiency and significant coronary artery disease. If you have complex procedures that involve the proximal coronary arteries and the aortic root, there might be another reason to use retrograde cardioplegia. One limitation is that you might have poor distribution to the right coronary artery territory, especially the anterior free wall, so you might have a relative capillary hypoperfusion. The modern approach is using a combination of both, anterograde and retrograde, which provides superior myocardial protection versus either method alone.